This video lecture is to introduce you to the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is an effect whereby a moving object like a missile, air mass, or ocean current appears to veer to the right in the northern hemisphere and the left in the southern hemisphere. Is an this is caused by the fact that the Earth is rotating and these other objects, be that the atmosphere or the oceans, are not in perfect sync with that rotating Earth um, underneath. For example, let's consider a missile launched from the North Pole to the equator. The top image shows what would happen if the Earth was not rotating from uh, two different vantage points. First here, shooting from the North Pole straight to the equator. And second, over here in this image, this is the North Pole and that should be a straight shot to the equator. Now, it, no matter how you look at this, if the Earth weren't rotating, the missile would travel in a straight line, North Pole to the equator, no problem. However, the Earth is rotating. So while the missile might fly straight, the planet underneath is changing position. This leads to an apparent curvature of the missile, or in our case, air mass, always to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Now, it's important to recognize that we consider the direction of this curve, we mean from the perspective of someone who is strapped to the missile or floating along with the air mass. So if you can mentally change your point of reference so that you are heading in the direction of this arrow here, then from that frame of reference, you ought to be able to see that it is curving to the right. Sometimes students have a really hard time with this, so if you cannot mentally see that this arrow is indeed curving to the right, here's a trick you can use. If we rotate the paper so that the arrow becomes an up arrow, then we can hopefully see that it is indeed curving to the right. So up arrows, this works because when you draw an arrow pointing upward, the perspective of someone going in that direction and your perspective are going to be the same. Now, in this class, you will be asked to draw the impact of the Coriolis effect. And if you have difficulty changing between reference frames, then I highly recommend that you only ever draw up arrows. And you can always just rotate your paper to make that possible. That way, you should get all of your curvatures correct. Okay, let's practice. Go ahead and sketch an example Earth on a piece of scratch paper, and then add stars uh, here. Go ahead and pause the video while you complete your sketch. Okay, now that you've got that sketched, your next task will be to draw in the curvature resulting from the Coriolis effect for air masses at each of the locations shown, assuming they head off in the direction indicated by the arrows. I'll go ahead and do the first one with you, starting up here at the North Pole. So the arrow indicates that our air mass will be heading to the south, and we know from the Coriolis effect that uh, air masses are going to deflect to the right from the perspective of someone traveling in that direction, which is going to look like this, or just a little more smoothly, we could draw the arrow like this. Now, it's hard to know exactly what that curvature will be, so maybe you have a short arrow like that, or maybe a longer one like this. Either way is good, since for both of these arrows, they are curving to the right from the perspective of someone traveling along in the direction of those arrows. Okay, your turn. Pause the video and draw in the apparent curvature that would be seen in each of the scenarios shown. Go ahead. Pause the video now. Okay, let's see if your sketch matches mine. Here we go. This star is just above the equator, headed northward, and that needs to curve to the right, like so. 
here, again, northward to the right. But if this one moves down, to the right becomes this direction. Here we have our first location in the southern hemisphere, so this one needs to curve to the left. Over here, we, have, we are going south and curving to the left. If you didn't catch that as being to the left, go ahead and flip your paper around so that the arrow points up and then draw it curving to the left and hopefully it will match mine. All right, this concludes the Coriolis Effect video lecture.